I am glad to stand here in the name of Jesus to give you this warning. I'm coming in the name of Jesus to come and deliver you this message. This message is for all the virtuous women all over the world, both those that are fellowshipping with us and those that are fellowshipping behind the screen, those that are about to follow, join us, this message is for you. Day before yesterday, I went to bed and uh, I prayed. I prayed and I went to rest. I went to sleep. But my spirit could not sleep. I was in prayer. In prayer, in prayer, in prayer. I turned this side. I was just in prayer. I turned this side. I was continuously in prayer. This, then suddenly, I fell at sleep. When I was in this deep sleep, I heard the voice of God from heaven. It was so clear. The voice was coming from heaven. And he pierced my ear. He told me, he said, go and tell the virtuous women. Go and tell all the virtuous women. If truly they want to be like me, if truly they want to come to be with me here in heaven, let them mind thy word. Let them mind what they say. Tell the virtuous women, if truly they want to be like me, if they want to come here in heaven and spend eternity with me in heaven, let them mind their word. Let them mind what they say. Let them mind what they speak. Let them mind their word. He was telling me so. I was hearing it clearly from my mouth, from my ear. And he took me in this place. I saw one virtuous woman was sitting behind a desk. I don't know whether she was reading the Bible or she was just touching something. You know, he said, tell them, go and tell the virtuous woman, if truly they want to come here in heaven, where I am, let them mind their mouth, their word, what they speak, tell them. And he showed me another woman. The woman was dressed like us, just like the first person. You know, with her tie, dressed very well, in a godly way. No earrings, no makeup. And she tied her hair. She was wearing the way, dressed the way I dress. I said, go and tell them. Tell the virtuous woman. If truly they want to come here in heaven and spend eternity here with me in heaven, let them be like me. Let them mind the world. Let them mind what they say. Let them mind what they speak. Tell them. And then immediately, I woke up from my sleep. I was still in my sleep, but I know that I woke up. Then I said, yes, Lord, I will tell them. I will tell them. I will tell them that you said that they should mind the word, their word. They should mind what they speak. Father, I will tell the virtuous men. Lord, I will tell them immediately I slept again. I was just in sleep. Then he said, tell them what the lie said. He wanted me to repeat and I repeat it, I repeat it, and I repeat it, I repeat it, then I woke up. My sister, I am here because the Lord has sent me to come and give you this warning. I really congratulate you for giving your life to Jesus, for dropping earrings, for dropping hair, for dropping makeup, for dropping fake hair, dropping fake eyelashes, or anything fake, you drop them. And for giving not only your, your body, your soul, your spirit to Jesus. But there is one thing that God is not happy with us. It is because our mouth. We don't know how to breathe our mind. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 33. It says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from trouble. You keep your soul from trouble. He said, but the tongue cannot, cannot, cannot maintain. It is an unruly evil, 
full of deadly poison. A tongue that you cannot tame is full of deadly poison. How many deadly words came out from your mouth? Many people, many children of God are very swift to speak, very quick to speak, without even thinking. They will just begin to speak, begin to speak their words. Mind your words. Mind your speak. Mind your words. Mind your speech. Whatsoever you say, make sure that it's coming from God. Hallelujah. Please, my sister, I've warned you. This warning is from the Lord. I promise God I'm, I'm going to give you this warning. From now on, stop, stop gossiping. Stop slandering. You know, uh, 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 stop murmuring, stop cursing, stop any mouth, any vo any words that would not please God. Make sure that this your mouth is a mouth of blessing. People around you, let them see God. People around you, let them bless God with your mouth because of the words. Your word is a blessing for this generation. God gave you this tongue to revive the world. God gave you to bless your brother. God gave you this, this gave you this tongue for, for you to intercede. God gave you this tongue for you to pray for one another. This tongue is not to gossip. This tongue is not to report evil. This tongue is not for mockery. It's not for murmuring. It's not for complaint. It's not for slandering. It's not for gossiping. It's not for evil, evil, evil sex. You know, kissing. You kiss men that is not for me, for, for it's not your husband. Your mouth is for the glory of God. Anything concerning you is for Jesus. I've given you the warning. I promise God that I'm going to tell all the virtuous men, you that is outside there, you are a virtuous woman in Christ. You are giving your life to Jesus. Make sure that your tongue is tam. Breathe on your tongue. Amen? Don't be swift to speak. Praise the Lord. Be slow. The way you speak, make sure that God is the one that has pushed you to speak. Amen. Listen, but don't be quick to speak. That's the message that God gave me, and I promised him that I was going to share with you, my sister. God bless you. Shalom.